Mover from Custom House is the definition of a what-if rapper. He was often regarded as one of the best rappers to come out of the UK, but sadly, or ironically, he threw his life away, because he could not curb his appetite for leaving the road life. If he wasn't distributing substances with Siri and his team, Custom House, then they were mugging people on the streets, or breaking and entering into properties, committing burglaries. It's safe to say from 2008 to 2014, Mover was influential in the street rap genre. He was able to make party songs also, as well as street anthems. He was the stereotypical rapper that was able to put his reality onto pieces of paper and put them onto tracks, even if it was gritty and exemplified criminal behaviour, because it was his real life. Also, his outro on Potter Paper's tape was phenomenal. However, it's damn near impossible to be a rapper and also a GM. You have to pick one occupation. And it seemed like for the king of custom house, fast money was the motive. It was too much of an attraction. So on July 2014, Mover, real name, Turngu Ajira and Stephen Lansana, along with others, were coming back from an unsuccessful robbery when they spotted father and son, whom had just finished a day's work renovating a £1.6 million property in Downage Hendon. Now, Lithuanian national 38-year-old Zai Drundas Lauren Vasius had only been in the UK for six months. He was grafting every day in order to give his wife and his young child a better life, and sadly, they only made it to the UK once he had already passed away. On that tragic afternoon, Zai Drundas and his dad, Pranas, had just brought ice cream and they were waiting at the bus stop on Parson Street. Now, Mover and his gang were travelling in a black VW Passat, when they spotted Zydronas wearing a shiny Rolex. They slammed on the brakes and three men jumped out of the vehicle. Those were Mover, Siri and a third person. Now the aim was to take Zydronas' black small bag and also the Rolex he was wearing, which had only been brought that day. And actually, it was a guest watch. Now as I said, firstly, all that was in the bag was his dad's reading glasses and the quote-unquote Rolex that Zydronas was wearing was a replica. It was a guest watch instead meaning it was fake, it wasn't worth thousands of pounds. Now from start to finish, the act of committing an M at 4.30pm at close proximity to a school took just 15 seconds. Again, 15 seconds to end someone's life. What happened next was tragic in every sense of the word. Mover and Siri in the third person were shouting as they sprinted towards the father and son. Now either Siri or Mover then put a hunting knife to Pranis' throat and demanded everything. That was watch, phone, wallet and the money. Now Pranas fought off one of the men, and as he fled he heard his son scream. Pranas turned round to see that his son was being chased. Zydrunas was then tripped over by either Mover or Siri, and that's when he was set upon by the gang. Zydrunas put his arms up to protect his body as best he could, namely the important parts like the head and the chest, but his arm was then targeted with such force that the blade entered the bone and then Zydrunas was knifed in the chest again, with such force that it exited out of his body. Now Pranus could do nothing but watch his son be emmed. Imagine what that must feel like, the horror, the shock, the guilt, all the emotions that you cannot put into words. Now after the deed was committed, everyone fled the scene. Pranus stayed with his son while emergency services rushed to the scene. Shot passerbys were screaming and crying and trying to piece Zydrunas back together. His chest was open. Now remember, this incident took place on a Thursday at approximately 4.30pm on the junction of Parson Street. Emergency services tried to save his life, but nothing more could be done. By 5.30pm, Zydrunas was pronounced dead at the scene. Now after the incident, Siri went on a run and he evaded capture for roughly a month. A reward of £20,000 was offered for information that could lead to his capture. Now eventually, of course, Mover and Siri were jailed for a minimum of 30 years. Now when they were interviewed, they told the Met no comment to all and every question. On trial, Mover especially aimed to paint a picture of being the victim, saying that he was targeted first and all he was doing is defending himself. But of course, the jury did not buy it. Ironically, since serving his sentence in Balmarsh, Mover released his critically acclaimed 15-track album called Exit Wounds, which makes references to his crimes he committed and what he's in jail for. Selling the album for 6 99 a pop and you can find it on Apple. 
or Spotify, which actually means that crime does pay. Condolences. Stay safe. Safe.